So I got to write another chapter of my story. I recovered from my eating disorder, had three children, did work that was meaningful, and became a competitive athlete again. Of course I didn't do it alone. I couldn't have done it without my community of family and friends. But along the way, I certainly experienced some very low moments. Divorce, disappointment, injury, and despair. The climb from the bottom was two steps forward, one step back. It wasn't easy, it wasn't pretty. I learned that there were some times in life that are hard, very hard, and I just wanted the pain to stop. I wasn't thinking about character building or anything else, I just hurt. But I made it through, sometimes just by putting one foot in front of the other, because sometimes that's all I was capable of doing. I'm not unique. We all share a human capacity for endurance, determination, and resilience. Sometimes each one of us needs a second or a third or a fourth chance. And that reminds me of a woman I met while we were both warming up for a world championship race in Adelaide, Australia. She said, I didn't know her, but she knew me. She'd been in a hospital weighing 75 pounds, hooked up to tubes and monitors and machines. But she said she knew about me and knew that I'd been sick too, but that I'd recovered and went on to be an athlete again. That gave her hope. And here she was, having recovered enough to qualify for and compete in a world championship. Her words made the hair on my arms stand up and my eyes fill with tears.